All right, so this is an uh, active homework tutorial on how to draw Lewis structures. I realize you may have a hard time figuring this out. Anyway, some of uh, for some of your homework, you will have to draw Lewis structures. Like here, it's asking you to determine the number of valence electrons in carbonate and draw the corresponding Lewis structure. All right, so <clears throat> before you do this, I suggest you, uh, you draw the structure. So first, we want to determine or draw the Lewis structure for carbonate. Step one, you need to determine the number of valence electrons. You go to the periodic table to do that. Carbon is in group four. That means it has four valence electrons. Oxygen is in group six. That means it has six valence electrons each. Oxygen has six valence electrons. So if we add them all up, we have one carbon, that's four. We have three times six from oxygen. And then of course you need the two electrons from the charge, which gives us a total of 24 valence electrons. We put carbon in the center. We assume three single bonds, which consume six electrons. That means we have a remaining 18 electrons to spare. We attach oxygen atoms to each end. Or we make some single bond to each of them. And then we spread out those electrons. We put six on each oxygen, which actually puts an octet on each oxygen in carbonate. And then you have to stop because you ran out of electrons. Okay, so that's, uh, we just used the 18. This uses up all 24, and you check for octet. As I said, oxygen, each oxygen has an octet, but the carbon doesn't. So you wanna move one of these lone pairs to make a double bond, and it doesn't matter which one you use. And so, uh, okay, well, I rotated that a little bit, but it doesn't matter. So each oxygen that's singly bonded still has six valence electrons. Sorry, has six lone pair electrons. And then the oxygen with the double bond only has four because we moved them uh, lone pair to make two electrons. Okay, now we can go to active. And you click on, I hope it shows up. You click on the plus sign, it brings up uh, just two blobs with a line, right? So you use your mouse, you can highlight either uh, this atom or this atom or that bond. And so it's up to you. you. You can make this carbon. You just click on the on the periodic table. You can select any atom you want. So you make this carbon and then you can decide here on the left, you, you can give it electrons and on the right, you can give it bonds, okay? So we know that carbon is going to have three bonds. So you go to three. There it is. We don't have any lone pairs. So you, you don't want to have electrons. Then you can click on each of these um, atoms on the outside, turn them into oxygens. And now you can do one at a time. Or you can, you can once you're on one, you can fix that. You know one of those is going to have a double bond and two of those are going to have three lone pairs. So you go to the left and have, click on the six electrons that are missing. I'm going to go back and do that here as well. And then I'll go to the last atom, which is an oxygen. And it only gets four electrons or two lone pairs because we're going to make the other uh, bond here, a double bond. So you highlight the bond and you tell the bond type double. Okay. And then you can click done. It'll load that and then and then you can select this thing and then go show answer. Okay, hopefully that was good enough for you to be able to draw these Lewis structures.